Shalom family, welcome to today. The verse I have for us is Isaiah 66, 8 through 10. It says, who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery? says the Lord. Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her. So I chose this verse because today is Israel's Independence Day. Israel is celebrating 75 years of statehood. And while I would love to share something profound of my own words, today I'm going to share someone else's profound words. The following is a portion of an article found at the one for Israel dot, found at oneforisrael.org and I will share the link to the full article in the description below. So it says, 75 years ago, David Ben-Gurion, the chairman of the Jewish Agency for Palestine, announced the formation of the new state of Israel. He said, the Nazi Holocaust, which engulfed millions of Jews in Europe, pr proved anew the urgency of the reestablishment of the Jewish state which would solve the problem of Jewish homelessness by opening the gate to all, the, to all Jews and lifting the Jewish people to equality in the family of nations. Ben-Gurion saw the horrors of the Holocaust as paving the way to the birth of a Jewish state, and he was not alone in making such a suggestion. Would this miracle or would the miracle of the recreation of Israel ever happened without such an atrocity on a scale that we can still barely comprehend? These questions are impossible for earthbound humanity to answer, but again, we see the closely bound, bitter and sweet, almost too close for comfort. And what was a day of astonishing joy for the Jewish people was also a day of sorrow and anguish for the Arabs who suddenly no longer owned the land they had been living on for generations. Again, joy and pain uncomfortably closely together. While we can rejoice in God's fulfilled promises and a new start for Israel, we also know this day is not an easy one for all her inhabitants. God still cares deeply for all the peoples of this area and seeks to give them their blessing, hope, and salvation. Many Arab Christians will struggle with celebrating but there are numbers of Arab believers who truly rejoice in God's physical restoration of Israel and seek her spiritual restoration promised in the scripture. This too is a miracle and the handiwork of an awesome God. For, um, for God had determined that he would regather his people and plant them back in the land that he had chosen for them. And he promised that he would do it in one day flat. Today's verse is a prophecy that has been fulfilled in our lifetime. It's exciting and it should be celebrated by all God's children. And so my prayer today is we rejoice greatly with Jerusalem and be glad for her. Let us also pray that she be rebirthed spiritually. May the veil be lifted from the eyes of the Jews and they know that Yeshua is the true promised Messiah. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Shalom.